Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com and this is the Energy Update for All Signs for Tuesday the 10th of January 2023. I hope you're doing well. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube. It's called Psychic Cafe. In that I give mini reads for donations. Come along sometime. You can find the next show laying in wait on my YouTube channel by clicking Be Healing that's down there. If you're interested in the private reading with me, they're available from my website, BeHealing.com. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also on up there. I get them out within 48 hours if you're ordering them and so they're not always available. If it says it's all sold out, it's just sold out for the day check back a day or so later you can get something coming up what's in the energies for everybody today let's see we've got memories of the forgotten self something that you've got about yourself and fleeting beauty something perhaps that was short-lived in your life something that you've forgotten something that just kind of came came and went it could have been like a job that you're in weren't in very long or an interest that you had that just kind of fills a lot very quickly something that was in your life that didn't stick around but it's coming back in you're remembering about it now you used to do that thing you got interested in that thing and then didn't continue pursuing it or something like that could be about someone from the past as well for some of you relaxation something that you found relaxing something that you enjoyed doing for some of you it might be i don't know getting back to reading or something like that it could be what else? Some kind of pursuit that you used to find relaxing. Hmm. Voting. Turbulence. The mind is murky in rough waters. Perhaps some of you have been through turbulent times, like not relaxing. So, so you, perhaps you lost touch with things, with the things that are enjoyable in life. Kind of fighting fires instead of the enjoyable things in life for a while. And you just remembered, oh, yeah. When life was better and I used to do relaxing things, I used to do this thing really like that. It's time to get back to that. What else is in the energies today? The Four of Pentacles, holding your energy back from something. What else? What else? The Page of Pentacles. This is a seed planted. Uh, it could be a message coming through about money or about some kind of an opportunity. But I'm, I'm pretty much getting like a seed planted, a new idea, something like that. Something to do, a new idea or something to do. Perhaps that you see um, through, you get a message about it or so, or you, you know, it could be a reminder like something you see on social media. Oh, I used to really enjoy doing that thing. That, that is like a seed planted in your mind, right? Of something to do or have or be. The King of Pentacles is someone who is very stable. Someone else um, that has a bearing on your day. Now, he showed up yesterday too in someone that wants to invest in us or someone that you can turn to for some kind of stability in some kind of way. That one. Whether it's a man or a woman, this character has still got something to do with your day today. What else? The Eight of Swords, feeling bound, restricted, like you can't do something that you want to do. Okay. Four of Pentacles, tell us why this. So th this is us holding our energy back, kind of being a little bit miserly with our energy. And that could be about like saying no to people. The night of materials moving really slowly. So you want you want relaxation. You want a slow life, and people might be asking things from you, and you say, "People might be asking you to do something because you've got nothing to do," kind of thing. And you're like, "But I want nothing to do. <laughs> I want to be relaxed." It's that kind of an energy. It's okay for you to take things slowly. You don't have just because everyone else is like on. Oh, moving really fast and they've got a lot of things to do doesn't mean you should match them in that energy right it shouldn't doesn't mean that the, those that are chill and relaxed should be the same as them um so yeah you might need to stand up for yourself in your slowness your pace of life that your relaxation that kind of thing you deserve it feminine energy you deserve it it's your time to receive says the feminine energy yeah Page of Pentacles. So there's some kind of seed planted in your mind of an idea of something that you used to do. Page of Pentacles. Tell us why the Page of Pentacles is here. Something that you used to do that was relaxing. The five of Emotions. 
Life of emotions is like opening your heart again, defrosting your heart where it's been kind of cold and shut down, perhaps shut down to yourself. This could be about self-love, in fact, yeah. Your heart could have been shut down to yourself, being on autopilot, constantly busy all the time, and you've remembered, oh, I'm here to have a nice life and enjoy myself and relax and do the good things. In fact, time I got back to the good things. Yeah, some of you could have been through a tricky time where you just had to soldier on kind of thing soldiering on and you know having to be a little bit more active a little bit more focused on work and the boring stuff not giving yourself social time or leisure time or you know time to to go nice places and do fun things and that is a kind of a cold frosty heart to yourself kind of an energy and it's time to defrost that heart now warm up to yourself and do some nice things for yourself do something nice treat yourself but it's more like, it's not about treating yourself. It's more like, do those things that you really like to do again. Get some balance in your life again. And yeah, do some nice things for yourself. Ancient wisdom is behind that. It's time. Don't leave yourself out. King of Pentacles, this character again. Yesterday he wanted to invest in us. Oh. Oh, he wants to throw the cards all over the floor. Hang on. Let's recover all of these. The Ace of Materials was the one that flipped over out of all of those. So it's the Ace of Materials. Offering you something big, planting a seed. We could do this together. This is a stable character that has got some kind of security in himself or herself. Uh, mastered that um, the physical plane kind of thing. And so they could have like the time and the energy to do whatever it is that they want to do. They could be wanting, as, as you're getting into this energy of warming up to self, yes, I'd like to do nice things too. Perhaps this character wants to do those nice things with you and is giving you a big offer. Ace of Materials is something that could really last as well. This could be um, a romantic connection that is that is very stable and wants to do those nice things with you too. Divine timing for that. So you're coming into this energy at the right time and they're coming into your life at the right time as well. The Eight of Swords, but you feel bound, bound to what? Bound to doing the boring stuff, staying in that imbalance, staying with your frosty heart to yourself. Let's hope not. What's this Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords about? Awakening. You're waking up to that. You're not bound at all. You can do things differently. Perhaps, yeah, perhaps you just got stuck in a rut after a time, perhaps where you had to be focused more on the money and working all the time, and you just got kind of in that energy. And then once you got to the point where you don't need to be in that energy anymore, you're like, hadn't realized and now you're realizing the awakening to that that you're not actually bound you don't need to carry on like that you can have nice things you can do nice things and here's someone that wants to do those nice things with you well that could make you angry as well you can be angry with yourself at not noticing you know that you've been on this treadmill and you kept yourself on this treadmill when you didn't need to be on it getting off the treadmill that's what we're doing today we're getting off the treadmill what about our love lives it feels very promising for our love lives, this energy. Some of you are moving into um, a really balanced time where you might be doing some real nice things with a loved one. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Perhaps not just yet then. Talking about this, but not yet doing it together. What else? Without King of Pentacles, it doesn't have to be a lover, you know. It could be... Well, father figure is what I was saying yesterday, it, but it's just someone that's solid and stable. See the big picture it says. Remember, this is about our love lives, seeing the bigger picture in our love lives and giving each other space at the moment. So see the bigger picture. You could be coming together. You could be making plans to come together with this person and be doing nice things. Perhaps you're kept out of each other's experience right now in the 3D because you need to get to this new energy where you're more balanced and you can do nice things and then you've got plenty of space to do nice things with your person when they come in. So some of you could be finding the balance ready for someone to come in so that you've got that balance so that you've got plenty of time and the inclination to do nice things with them. Some of you have been waiting for someone to come into your life to do nice things with them, but you need to get into that energy first and start doing nice things by yourself first. 
we've got flirt and guarded so people might be flirting with you but you're quite guarded um this energy is like you know what it is that you want and the people that are flirting with you aren't really what you want and so you're kind of guarded against that you're like mm, you're not for me you're not for me perhaps you've got your eye on someone that is for you it's a fear of in inadequacy here what if i don't have enough what if i don't have enough um to give myself that space to do the nice things villain some of you could be feeling bad about previous relationships as well like you did something wrong you let people down and your trust could be faltering at the moment so while you are getting into this new energy of more balance and, and being able to do nice things for yourself you're also learning how to trust in relationships and it's about trusting yourself in relationships again so quite a lot going on in the energies today but it's all kind of internal stuff what else is in the energies today Woo. oh wow okay Mm. interesting we've got a diamond out there because of this ace of materials that is about a very big offer that ace of materials diamond receiving something or giving a precious gift a wall though there's a misunderstanding today and also ooh, love mm. some of us are bringing in this king of pentacles this person to have a very balanced secure life with but we need to get into that energy first of doing nice things allowing ourselves a time to have a very balanced life and do nice things together and not waiting for that relationship to come in to do it think of a yes or no as a question because i've got a red and a green crystal in this bag i'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for your answer but this is just a bit of fun because this is a general reading not a personal reading if you want to ask a specific question of these crystals for a yes or no answer come along to my psychic cafe show i'll do that for you it's for donations for those mini reads i won't just pick a crystal out i'll also channel it too get some cards out for you find out why it's a yes why it's a no find the next show laying in wait on my youtube channel by clicking be healing down there i can use them in private readings as well book yourself in there's a link in the description box below and also one up there too after you've booked in click on the contact us page on my website put your questions in there if you've got questions you don't have to have questions for a reading i will just channel it if you don't okay how best to deal with these energies today we've got the three of pentacles now the three of pentacles is about doing stuff with other people collaborations that kind of thing but it's also about planning too so some of you need to put a plan in place like something specific like in the afternoons i won't work past two o'clock and i'll do something nice and i'll get out there and i'll enjoy myself i'll either go and see a friend or i'll do an activity or whatever you need to have a new plan for yourself like that to get to force yourself into that balance so that you don't just do the same as you always do. Some of you have been working, 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 then you'll scroll on your phone. And in that time when you're scrolling on your phone, you could be doing something really nice instead. Think hobbies, think getting out in nature, that kind of thing. Make a plan so that you'll stick to that plan. This is about changing the balance of your life by creating a new structure for yourself building that new structure of yourself, giving new rules to yourself like that. It could be something, be something like that. Like, for example, that would be really good for me. In fact, to say, okay, I will never work past two o'clock in the afternoon and I'll do something really nice in the afternoon because I can be work, 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 train, 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 work, 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 train, train, train. I'm trying to get more balance right now. So think of yes or no answer question. Pause the video if you're not ready for your answer. Your answer is yes. I knew it was going to be the yes today. I just knew it. I'm a psychic, you know. There you go. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like on this video down there. Leave a comment and click on that subscribe button with that notification bell to hear more from me. I do one of these energy updates every single day of the year. I go live three times a week in my Psychic Cafe show and I make three love picker card reads a week as well. You can find one of those right there right now. You watch that next if you so wish. Well, have the best day ever. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.